The price of petrol, it's not just important, it's newsworthy. The highest petrol prices for almost three years. Drivers are being urged to fill up now. Petrol prices. Petrol prices. Petrol prices. Why is Canberra petrol so expensive? But despite all the attention, Petrol margins are at historically high levels. Luckily, the ACCC has special powers to ensure the petrol companies don't rip us off. Take it away, ACCC man. The ACCC. No, hang on, hang on. The ACCC. No, hang on. This is going to be so good. The ACCC does not set petrol prices in Australia. They are determined by the market. Hmm? It is not against the law to simply price well above cost. <laughs> OK, so apparently it is legal for petrol companies to rip us off. But there are restrictions on how they rip us off. They can't just collude to set prices, for example. If they just look at each other's cards... Snap! <laughs> New laws in 2012 made it illegal for petrol companies to share their pump prices. But a company called Informed Sources collated the pump prices and the petrol companies bought that info from them. Info that wasn't made available to most consumers. <laughs> the ACCC said this was anti-competitive and took them to court. And we won. Yeah, sort of. They didn't stop the petrol companies getting access to this info, but from May 2016, this info, which is updated every 15 minutes, will be made available to the public. So they can still collude, but we can watch them do it and play along. Snap. Actually, I should have said app because that's one way you might get access to this information. So will this lead to a petrol app revolution that helps save you hundreds of dollars? Maybe. The problem is that this price information only covers half of the market. One of the biggest players, Coles, isn't even included. And neither are most of the independents, who often have the cheapest prices. So informed sources isn't that well informed. An alternative source of petrol price information that already exists are free crowdsourced apps. Prices are entered by ordinary people who for some reason are into that kind of thing. Hey, at least I'm not dressed like a wanker. We tried some crowdsourced apps and found a number of stations' prices hadn't been updated for some time. But plenty were up to date. And by just comparing stations in the same area, they pointed us to savings of more than 20 cents a litre. Which is how we saved enough money to get this cameo from half the Umbilical Brothers. How you going? Cheap half. So what effect will all this extra information have on the petrol market? To find out, I've come here to Western Australia. What is that? I said a swan like a Western Australian black swan, not a bloody Sydney swan. For years, WA's had Fuel Watch, which is a government-run scheme where petrol companies have to lock in their price for the next 24 hours and publish them. So Western Australians can get accurate price info for every petrol station every day on the Fuel Watch website, by email or on phone apps. You'd think that all this extra information would make petrol prices cheaper in Perth. But it doesn't. There is a way to get a good deal in Perth, though. Just use the weekly price cycle. Buy on Monday, don't buy on Tuesday. Simple. Using price cycles in other parts of the country is a lot harder. Other cities don't have predictable weekly cycles, but you can still look at them and figure out if it's heading towards its peak or its lowest point and purchase accordingly. I said we didn't need him. I'm just saying we'll fill up on the way home. You can find out your city's petrol price cycle by looking at the Petrol Spy app or at the ACCC's Petrol Cycle website, which also has useful tips like delay purchasing until later. OK, I will. That was for Melbourne. Oh, forget it. So if you want to beat the petrol barons, check the price cycle, use crowdsourced apps, and for May 2016, check informed sources too. That is not within the spirit of the game. But remember, don't drive too far to bag a saving. 83 cents? Honey, grab the kids. We're going to Melbourne. If you own Australia's most purchased car and drove just seven kilometres out of your way to save a cent a litre, you'd actually save nothing. So make sure your extra travel is worth the hassle. And if you do go to the trouble of saving yourself some bucks, remember where the petrol stations really rip you off. We've hit black gold. <laughs> They've got their Diet Coke delivery. Yup, it's all the convenience store items where the real markups are. Oh, I gotta tell people about these prices. 